hello today we will try to cut an external thread in creo and uh, for example we will take uh, any size particularly unified screw size i'll put the link in the description where you can find the dimensions required for the particular unified screw size so here for example we'll take 10-32 is our screw uh, thread size and uh, i have put the formulas to calculate its uh, pitch and uh, minor diameter thread height etc so we'll put these all in the description you can copy from there and we need to source measure diameter from the the data that is needed and you can find it on a, any website just google it we'll give you a link in description also you can find that measure dia for any particular thread so see here all is calculated we need to put that in our relations and it's we'll make a shank just use it a revolver feature and Yes, we will make measure diameter. This one, right click, select con convert to diameter, and this is our shaft length or shank length, you can say. So this is measure dia. We will put relation from here itself. These are the sketch relations. We will again relate it in our uh, relations menu because sometimes it lose as we change our thread sizes. So for now, just click OK and we will, we have our shank. Again, so we will take the helix and. we will make a path first so we will take this od as a reference and that face as a reference and we'll make a line like this and also an arc so that we can have a smooth cut of our threads at the end we will define all these par uh, all these uh, dimensions in uh, in relations menu so we will relate these dimensions with some formulas so if this this distance is something this and this point is our thread length we can have some shorts or long thread lengths you know maybe up to the shank length we can have threads just one quarter of the shank length we will put the thread lengths and we will have that in our 3d model we will click okay and now we will define our profile click okay select define profile and here we will make a triangle and this triangle is symmetrical on that vertical center line so we need to make one center line to there Uh, and we will just define we will make this profile completely constant so no parameter is loose so this is the height which is equal to here we can see h by 8 i guess yeah it's thread h by 8 that is the height and also one more height we needed this 5 h by that one this is h by 8 uh, 
and this one here I will put that and now we will uh, make it symmetrical to this vertical line ok and that uh, that arc that arc is tangential arc between these two points and its length is pitch by 4 we will make its pitch by 4 ok and we will make it symmetrical this first we will make a center line and then click the center line symmetrical center line and these two end points that's it and also we will define the angle angle of the thread is it's 60 degree and half angle is 30 degree so here we will define complete angle and it's 60 degree for these two slant edges yeah that one and we will make an arc which is tangent to these two points so our profile is completely defined here we will click ok ok so we will just yeah, click ok and we want to remove the material so we will click that and click ok see here see so we will again put the relations for our path and profile and its pitch for this helix so this is our path and we will put some this is our thread length some formulas for these two dimensions and uh, these dimensions too so we will define everything what we make we, every sketch is completely defined and it's related to some some formula some measurements okay and all, all is related by our uh, 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 the parameters that we defined as a relations in our formula so here if you go in a relations menu and uh, we click that ok so you can define this dimension as uh, 2 times the pitch so it will be always 2 times the pitch length from that end and this dimension is our thread length our uh, the length up to which threads will be cut it and okay and we can put this is path okay so for this the two dimensions small dimension because thread will be smooth uh, if we put that an arc and we can specify this is nothing but the 2.5 times our pitch and uh, small one is to some distance that in formula I'll put this all in the description you can copy from that and so
that distance is that much okay so we will define these two small dimensions to as per that we we'll put that formulas okay and for profile again uh, we will uh, define these dimensions because if we just put uh, formulas in sketch relations then it's sometimes it's it's gone if we modify or alter 3d or edit the 3d so here again for surety the small height is we'll put these values by looking at our picture okay and this one this is 3h by 8 oh sorry 5h by 8 uh, 5 times 3h by 8 okay angle and this one is pitch by 4 and we will make a tangent arc also and this angle is 60 this is full angle okay half angle is always 30 for the unified screws so in this way we will uh, put relations for our thread profile and also and never forget to uh, put the uh, dimensions for the pitch because you know when we make a helix and we use the helix feature we need to value the uh, we need to enter the values for pitch and that also we need to define so here thread is cutted perfectly okay And we can put one uh, chamfer at this end so that it will look more accurate and also you know our another end is already smooth for the thread so we will put one chamfer so it will also look good just we will use the revolve feature and make a triangle in this way here by having some gap from this reference and this and convert this diameter this dimension to the diameter right click convert to diameter so it's easy for us to put the relations we always using diameter so why again we will completely define this sketch okay that end to that point yeah. So it is completely defined. You can say no loose and uh, remove the material. Okay, and we can have again. We can put the formulas for those uh, dimensions for this chamfer. Here it is. This one is so one by one we will put this 
uh, we can put any angle for this as per our requirement 48 50 30 this is chamfer angle after all so any angle no problem should be less than 60 and uh, we can put this for this also some formula so we related everything okay with our uh, pitch or TPI so from thread size we have the information of nominal diameter and uh, TPI threads per inch and from that information we have the formulas for uh, minor diameter pitch and we related every dimensions by that so we can put any thread size here as a data and we can generate it and we can have our model ready for that size we'll show you see you can see now how smooth it looks the end of the thread also and starting also it's looking nice okay so we will put some an, another size here for example we can take 1 by 4 dash 32 is another size and we can try see uh, length how length thread length has changed to half as per the value the value we put so we can have here some another some one more data or another thread like this and we'll remove unnecessary things just what we need to measure diameter tpi and pitch that's it uh, measure diameter you can find that first is 1 by 4 is our nominal diameter which is a major diameter and second is a tpi and pitch is nothing but one is a reciprocal of tpi so if we put that value and regenerate we will have an another thread okay so in this way screws can be modeled with actual threads in creo this actual unified screw threads can be modeled okay screws have heads and different types of heads that that is not the part of this video we can uh, cover that later but we concentrated on the threads so we'll remove drw underscore it's not present here we just need we have the parameter thread size so we need to put their thread size equal to if, if thread size is this we will get that okay and everything will be calculated every relations every formula so active parameters are only two thread size we will put and thread length we will get our threads that's it see and if we change the thread size and we will check our major diameter is changed here again okay so this is all guys thanks